mass surveillance, TPPA, war and terror, linking all these things together with their own dirty politics. Uh, this country is not a bit clear, but it's a key partner in the foreign policy markets. And how this is related to sovereignty, how this is related to freedom, how this is related to democracy itself. He's got to do. <laughs> so, what do you reckon is going to happen tomorrow? Well, there's a huge energy in this hall. Look at this. Look, people are moving from here. And I think they're moving from here, I don't know, to really participate in fighting to defend democracy, uh, civil rights, and uh, internet freedom. And I think this is really vindicated by those of us in the MANA movement who teamed up. Uh, with this generation of internet freedom writers. I mean, to be joined here tonight by Edward Snowden, a former NSA agent, to hear what he had to say about how this government collects information from every citizen here using X Keystone, right? From co collecting not just our metadata, but every Keystone, right? And, and there it is, put out there. You know, Bob Amsterdam on the TPPA, we've been marching against the TPPA, free trade agreements, the might of these multinationals, how they want to subvert law, how they want to reach in and, uh, and, and, and take people uh, like dot com away, who challenges them. I mean, I just think there's a huge feeling uh, after tonight, and it'll be very interesting to see uh, the political effects in the next four or five days. And I'm looking forward to being a very active participant in the next four or five days. <laughs> Yeah, uh, three years ago, three years ago, it would have been hard to imagine that we, uh, that socialists in uh, El Cano would have been this involved, this deeply involved in electoral politics. How do you see the transformation of the last three years to tonight and the energy in the whole of in the society and the involvement and engagement here? How do, how do we relate as socialists to, to this going forward? Well, the, tonight's meeting you know, is part of it. If you look at some of all the people who are here, many of us who are involved in it, I mean, it comes from a, a very rich tradition in this time of protest for freedom. Uh, whether it's Occupy, whether it's the union movement or whatever. And uh, we're pioneering some things in New Zealand. New Zealand pioneers things like the vote for women and the welfare state. Um, with MANA, you know, a left recruitment project led by Maori. But with this, with the Internet MANA Alliance, actually taking the issues of the 21st century just as serious as the 20th century minimum program. I mean, we want free jobs, we want education for all, we want um, uh, um, uh, housing for all. But the issues raised tonight are talk. I, I think it was Julian Assange who said that they are constructing a very sinister and bizarre civilization from the bottom up. That the Five Eyes Alliance is not an alliance of five nation states, it's an alliance of five intelligence agencies over whom we know nothing about how they're using this powerful uh, uh, undemocratic information. And so the, the fact that 21st century revolutionaries are part of this movement that's fighting uh, for freedom, fighting for dem democracy, fighting for civil rights as they exist for this generation, right? our internet freedom, I think is a very, very uh, uh, powerful new way. And I think it was great that the left has helped to influence this movement in this country. Because in any fight for freedom, we're going to need to take on these agencies. We're going to need to take on the, the power of the secret police of these mandarins uh, who are hidden uh, deep uh, in, in the world. Joe, would you agree that, that, that the time of like uh, moving forward, that the Internet Mana Party has put a punctuation point on the end of the old way of conducting ourselves as socialists and, and progressive parties, moving forward now, seeing uh, the Internet and social media and politics as basically fused now and inseparable. How, where do you see us being in the next 12 months, two years, and five years in the struggle? Over cyberspace and <laughs> well, I think it, if anything, it shows that we need other forms of network that are just not on the internet. I mean, the power of these people to actually reach in and find out what people are thinking uh, with X keystroke and stuff and, and, and gathering metadata. 
I mean, I think Snowden said it. He says we can find out more about you from metadata than we can from listening to the phone call. Because in a phone call you could use code words or whatever, but with metadata we can see who your networks are, who you're talking to, who you're concealing things from other people. And uh, if anything, I think it shows that we need uh, a socialist revolutionary organization that exists in meat space and not just in cyberspace. And uh, as Mari said, that exists Kanohi to Kanohi, face to face, and networks in our workplaces and streets. Because in the end, that's the power that can take down uh, these spooks and the corporations who are behind them. We've seen these guns are for hire. These politicians are for hire. These agencies are for hire. But who are they hire uh, by? Corporations, the people who are pushing the TPPA, companies like Hollywood who are trying to persecute um, .com. This is what yeah. all this machinery exists for. This is what the secret police, this is what the state exists for. It's to uphold the corporate feudal control of society. And if that means sacrificing democratic and civil rights, that's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. I'm furious. Let's get out. Five days to bring this government down. Excellent. What am I doing here?